on today's video it's all about camcorders stay tuned All right, so I think a, a, a video and an explanation about camcorders and how they work is in order because I get tons of messages and tons of emails and phone calls and, and it's just not clear to people how, how this works. And, and you know, I mean, if, you, if you're not in the industry, I mean, sometimes it's just, you know, you just can't know because you just don't know. So we're going to go over how camcorders work, how we buy them, you know, the specs and what we're looking at when we buy them and the different styles and kinds. And so we're going we're gonna to bring you in a minute, we're going to bring you in here close where you can really see what they are, what they look like and, and why they're that way when we get them. All right, so the the first one in the line is, and if you and if you've seen the flat tap it cam video, uh, I should be able to link it in the description. We talked about uh, the P55. So this is a standard flat tap it small block Chevrolet flat nose uh, HGI. So HGI is hardenable gray iron. So if the core come from EPC, it's going to be a P55. If it come from camshaft machine, it'll be a, uh, a everywhere 55. So, but, but either way, it's the same cast in from Caltech, CWC, and so, so, but it, I mean, this is how it looks when it comes in. I mean, the, the, the lobes are shaped like lobes, but they're raw castings. I mean, it's just a, a massive amount of material that has to come off. But the heat treat is to the spool. So you, you can't get through the heat treat and, you know, but, but this is the core performance, flat tap it stuff. This is the core everybody's using and it has if you can, if you can see that, it has 55 right in it, so you'll know that it's a that it is. And 55 is the Rockwell hardness. All right, so that's the only flat tap that I got. I just wanted to to show that because that's 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 a lot of questions. So the next core, this is a some people call it a Sadie core. But this is a Alsta tempered ductile iron roller core. Um, the OEMs use these in factory roller cam applications. Uh, you don't have to run a bronze gear. You can run a melanized gear. We use these. Uh, this is a small block Chevrolet step nose. It'll work in a LT1 or a standard, you know, uh, factory roller block, you know, 87 up roller block. Uh, they'll make about any street hydraulic roller that you want to grind. There's enough material to, to do about anything you want to do with this one part number core. It's a great core. They're super hard. They live forever. Uh, it's, it's just a no problem core. You can run a standard fuel pump rod if you have a mechanical fuel pump. And so we, we try to push people onto these anytime we're doing a, a, you know, a, a mild straight roller deal. So that's both of the iron cams in the pile. Now with all of this other, so this is a modular forward. I, I believe this is a 8660 material. Um, if you can see the width of that heat treat line. So I mean, it's a, the, the heat treat depth, a lot of people are concerned about the depth of the heat treat. So if you can see, I mean, it's, it's probably, minimum three-eighths of an inch deep 
And so at least a quarter of it is just full hard. I mean, you can, you can see the line. And so that's the nice thing about induction hardening. The depth is, is just so deep, so you can do so much more with a induction hardened core versus a carburized core because the heat treat depth. So now this, and, and these are available for mainly small block Chevrolets and big block Chevrolets. But this is a billet 86, this is a 8660 induction hardened core, but it's a three piece. So if you notice, the, the back journal and the gear are pressed on to the spool and this is an everywhere gear. So this allows you to run a billet core without having to run a bronze gear. And, and these are great. You can, we've done it. If you do ever have a gear problem, you can press this off and put a new gear on instead of murdering your, you know, 450 or $500 cam. Cause I mean, when you get into fire and order swaps and 900 base circles, I mean, I mean, some of those cams we're selling them for $450, $500. So, you know, if you kill a gear, we can fix it on these type of cores. So they're really good for, you know, mild, if, if you're trying to do a, a street deal and, and you want, you know, a really aggressive hydraulic roller or a small solid roller and street, you know, th this is the core for that. So this is a, this is a Windsor Ford. And this is still induction hardened. This is a 1055, I think. So, you know, the stuff down in the 10 series, it's not quite as robust as, as like the 8660 cores, but these are fine, you know, street hydraulic rollers, no problems. I've, I've never had any lobe issues. This is the standard across the industry. You know, everybody uses this stuff, but on the forwards, because the gears in the front, you can't do a, a three piece design. So, you know, you just kind of stuck with, with a bronze gear. Some people are having success running melanized gears on these billet cores, but you know, it's touch and go uh, how, how good that works out sometimes. Um, LS core, this is a standard 5150 LS core. I mean, it's, you know, across the board, this is another one that everybody's using. We have LS cores in 5150, 5160, um, 8620, and 8660. Uh, preferably the 5150, 5160, and 8660 is what we use the most. We, we do some 8620, but, but I prefer the 8660 if you want, you know, the cream of the crop. All right, so this, the next two are 8620 cores, and you can always tell by the copper plating in between the lobes, and all carburized 8620 cores will be copper plated and the copper plating stops the heat treat from from getting into the core and just maintains it on the lobe so the core the main core is soft and the lobes hard that way you know it don't it don't crack and this is a late hemi vvt um 8620 core we got these in 8620 and 1050 5150 5150 i believe so those are available too and then i'm going to show you this is th this is a, a sheet from the core catalog and if you look like this is down here so these are ls cores so we buy cores just like you buy finished cams. And the reason for that is, is you know, you couldn't take, for instance, this, this very first core is 226 on the intake, 230 on the exhaust, 350, roughly 350 lobe lift, 
So that core, we couldn't, I mean, we just, there's not enough material there to make that core a, a 250 at 50 or a 260 at 60. And, and the same thing goes for the lobe separation in the intake center line. So this one is 113 LSA plus three. So, I mean, it's 113, it's already ground in. You couldn't just make that a 116 or a 118. There's just, there's just not enough material. So we always try, and when it comes to LSs, cause that's our specialty, we keep probably 10 different part number cores on the shelf. So we've always got a core that is really close to the finished product. That way we maintain as much material and heat treat depth as possible on the finished product because I mean that's important and and you know m maintaining the correct base circle diameter I mean if you have to just grind a bunch off of the cam the lobe is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so the base circle is reducing and as the base circle reduces it affects duration and so the smaller the base circle with the same master plate, the smaller the duration will be. And so, you know, so that's a, a, another deal. Because a lot of people ask all the time, you know, is the lobe just round when you get it? And so you can see, like, like really on this LS core, you can see how rough that lobe is. And, and what they have is a machine that's similar, the core manufacturers have a machine that's similar to a, to a camshaft grinder, but it's got a, a large wheel that has, has carbide teeth on it. And so they call it a lobe mill. And so it's milling the lobe from, a, from a, what we call a spool, a full round, into a shape and indexing the lobes properly and, and, and all of that. So when we get it, the lobe separation is fixed. Now, you know, depending, I mean, if this was 111 LSA, depending on what duration we're going to put in it, we could possibly move it up to two degrees and maybe a little more, but you know, generally about two degrees movement and, and maybe three-ish on the intake center line. And so, but, but, that, but that's how they are. That's what they look like when they get here. And, you know, obviously, you know, they leave you material to, to bring it in. And so I don't have any, well, there are some tool steel stuff. Uh, you know, we do that kind of stuff on a limited basis. You know, it's special order. Um, we are, why are we talking about cores? Cause I, I've got tons of messages about cores. Uh, for for the Buicks, so the, the Buicks are coming. I promise. We to, a lot of the toolings here. We we have a little trouble with material. We really wanted to do 8660, but 8660 is just really hard to get unless you buy a full mill run, and, and that's what we're gonna do eventually. But right now, all of the prototypes, I guess you would say, are going to be 8620 carburized. And so I hope to have the first samples ready to go to heat treat. I hope by the end of February, but it's just, you know, we are overwhelmed with cam orders. Thank you. I mean, thank you. We have had more cam orders than I know what to do with. And all of the super positive comments and phone calls, it's, it's been amazing. And and I'll probably make another video about it, but we're gonna start offering all our lifters, solid and hydraulic, with DLC coated foots. Um, we're working with Calico on DLC coating our lifters. So I hope in the next two or three weeks, we'll have some of those on the shelf ready and uh, all right, I'm gonna wrap it up right there. So if you got any questions, put them in the comments. If, if you got stuff that, you know, whatever, if you got stuff that you wanna know about or you want me to do a video on, tell us, we will make it happen. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff is just, I mean, it's not rocket science, but it, it's just not information that's out there. So if you got questions, ask them. 
and we'll get them answered. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the website, powellmachineinc.com. We got new hoodies. If you need a hoodie, they're going to be on the website probably next week. So check them out. Thank you. Have a great day.